Hey guys, uh, my question is for Spica. Um, Spica initially, uh, Grig, uh, excuse me, Armeo subbing in for Santorin uh, initially looked like an advantage for TSM, given that Santorin is objectively the better player uh, from an individual standpoint. But do you feel like maybe the lack of familiarity? Uh, have, you obviously haven't played against Grig, uh, Armeo since the lock-in. Do you think that was a factor in in today's problems? Um. Not really. I think I'm really familiar with his uh, play style. I think the main problem is just that the struggle meta is just, you know, it's just four champs that's really viable. So almost, you know, champs can really only do one path, which is full clear. And he's pretty good at that. And um, I think we just play worse as a team. And that's why we lost. All right, let's go to Jay Silver next. Hi, everyone. Uh, so my question is for Sword Art. Uh, Sword Art, this is your first split in the LCS. And now that the split is included, do you think you met your personal goals in NA for the season? If so, what do you still wish to accomplish? <laughs> I don't think you probably should go in NA. Hopefully not. Uh, no, you can oh. just talk. Just talk. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, today I'm uh, really sorry for my teammate because today I've uh, performed not really well. So my teammate uh, worked really hard so we can come back at game three. But I should, I should play better just like game one or game four. Just like, uh, so yeah, mm, I will try harder and yeah because my goal is mm, yeah i want to win all the game not only just go to worlds i want to be the first and go to worlds okay let's go to nick ray next hi um i have a question for uh, poe so despite the loss today was the first time that you guys were able to play on stage together as a squad, even though you didn't have an audience. Um, do you have, is there something uh, you saw out of your teammates today or any kind of shout out you want to make of something you saw in or out of game that you were proud of from them? Well, I think I'm um, happy about our game free, just come back. I think um, obviously it always takes a mental, you know, tall on you when you are zero two down so i'm happy that we won the game three uh, i actually felt like we could have had the momentum for game four but um yeah we ended up falling short so i think i'm happy that we at least took one game away from them but obviously overall sad that it went to a one three i think uh, we could have had a better showing overall uh let's go to matt from stack next Hey, how's it going, y'all? Uh, my question's for Bjergsen. Um, throughout, throughout the series, we've seen you guys all evolve in the way that you've played, but it always looks like TL provides a really difficult matchup for you guys, particularly after you guys won the best of ones earlier in the split. What is it about TL that makes the matchup difficult for a team such as yourselves? Um, I wouldn't say that TL is a particularly kind of stylistic difficult matchup for us. I think they're just the top team along with C9, and those are just the more difficult teams. Uh, nothing really to do with style, but it's to do with skill of the team, of the individual players, of their player as a team. Um, so I think just TL and C9 are really tough opponents, and I expected us to beat every other opponent pretty handily, and I think that we did. And TL and C9, it was, it was just going to come down to how well we play on that day, because they are respectable opponents, not easy to beat. Go to Manny. You're next. Hi, everyone. Um, my question would be to Huni. Um, I, I was wondering, you know, you've obviously been in many teams. Uh, what are your thoughts? What are the next steps that this team needs to take to be able to make sure that you guys are one of the world's representatives for the LCS uh, for the summer? Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's like, so we finished up with the third places, but you know, like, honestly, like, I think we got better a lot compared to, like, we, when we just started from the spring split. And I saw a lot of 
like still there's like in the pro from uh, through the progress is there everyone was just trying hard and keep the passionate and with patience at those things and i think in the summer we're gonna have a you know pretty good advantages from the the spring split the regular seasons for the record too and honestly it's like it's kind of it's like kind of obviously it's kind of sad to lose but i think in summer split i think we're gonna have a pretty good faith that you know we're gonna be doing well so i think just you know just do same thing that like what we did just work hard as much as we can in the summer split and i think we're gonna be pretty good one of the you know we can be easily just one of the uh representative for the for the boys that's how i feel thank you uh let's go to alan next hey guys question for speaker so obviously coming into the series, you know, you a lot of TSM success was running through you, was running through a lot of the stars on this team, even Bjergsen at the helm. But this obviously didn't go the way you guys wanted to. How, what did you like? What are some key takeaways that you in the jungle matchup? Uh, obviously with Santor now, but what were some of the things that you took away from this, things that you like from your team and uh, moving on to summer? Oh, sorry, can you rephrase the question? What were things that you liked out of this team or out of your team, even though with a bad result? And uh, how do you guys build on it for the summer? Um, I think what I like about this team is just like the atmosphere and just like our mentality in general. I think everyone works, works really hard. Uh, we're always striving to improve. And I think, you know, we're just like five new players and we even have a new coaching staff going to spring. I think TR and C9, you know, they have, like multiple returning members. I think Sina had three and then Tia also have three. So I think that's like a really huge advantage in spring or spring split where it's mostly just team synergy. I think it really showed that we are not really playing well together, you know, in the beginners play and then that got better as we play more. So I think going to summer as we play with each other more, you know, know each other's tendency, I think we'll perform much better. Uh, let's go to Tyler from Dot. Hey guys, this is a question for Bjergsen. Um, this is your first split as a coach uh, and I wanted to kind of get your perspective on how like some of the biggest learning lessons that you've had through this first split and how you'd say your coaching has evolved from the beginning of the year to now. Oh, um, that's a good question. Um, I think a lot of it is just really how to work with people. And I think I'm still learning a lot from that. Uh, I think when I was a player, I was very straightforward with my teammates, but I don't think I really talked to them or really helped them learn in a very skillful way. So that's what I'm really trying to improve as a coach, helping not just tell my players what to do, but help them actually learn it and help them understand it. And uh, every person needs to be talked to differently. And that's something I'm gonna continue to try to improve upon. But um, I really enjoyed my first split as a coach and working with all these players. Okay, before we open the floor to repeats, uh, does anybody else have questions? Andrew, you go ahead. Sorry, my mic was muted. Give me two secs. Um, my question is for speaker. So obviously in the jungle matchup that we've seen in the NALCS over the last couple of years, the big talking point has been Blabber versus Speaker for, I guess, the new leading rookie jungle talent in North America. Now that Speaker's, uh, now that Blabber's taken away his second MVP title, you find yourself knocked off here. Do you think that there is a chance that you can potentially bridge that gap in summer or in the future? And do you see Blabber as your biggest rival, I guess, in the jungle in the LCS because of it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think, you know, personally and just as a team perspective we're going to get a lot better um I think I don't really usually think about like rivals I think as a jungler you know like the first thing that you really focus on isn't really the 1v1 matchup it's just playing with the team playing well with your team and what your team or what your comp wants to accomplish so that's not really ever on my mind but I think he's definitely like the best jungler in NA right now I think I'll definitely have a lot of catching up to do Okay, let's go back to Matt from, or actually, let's go to Hugo. It's your new. Hi, thanks. Uh, my question is for Bjorsen. Mm, we are still waiting this 
uh, dominant TSM for quite some time now. And uh, to ask more patience for the fans, it's not like an extra pressure for you for, for, for the, the next semester or even to reach worlds. You almost got it, man, but you came short. I don't really understand the question. What, what, what do you say to your fans that uh, they have been receiving like this same answer, like the next semester or the next tournament? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't think a lot of people expected us to come in and be dominant this split. I think a lot of people rated us even lower than I would have thought. And uh, we didn't perform as well as I thought we could. Um, but I think it's nice to be an underdog. I think the eyes are going to be on C9 and TL. And uh, I think in summer split, we're going to show up and surprise them. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's go back to Matt from Stacked. Hey again, y'all. So uh, I'm interested in learning. Uh, this is this question is fielded for anybody on TSM who feels like they can uh, answer this. Um, you guys aren't playing on the live patch, uh, and I imagine that's caused quite a few wrinkles in like how you prepare and how you practice. So what's it like to train patches behind when you get done practice and like you go on soul queue and you're a patch ahead or a couple patches ahead? And do you think the result today would have been different if you were playing on like a, the live patch instead of in the past, so to speak? I mean, I think uh, it definitely sucks. I think it definitely sucks for jungle because pretty much all the jungle champs are nerfed on the live server and they have been for weeks now. I think we're two patches behind. Uh, but every team here is playing at the same disadvantage. So I don't think there's any validity to saying that we would win if we're playing on the new patch. I just, uh, it just sucks being behind. It sucks for the team that's going to go to MSI that will have played on the, the old patch while all the other teams are getting a lot of practice on, um, what is it, 11, 16? 17. 17? Yeah, it's 17. Now. You're playing on 16 though, right? Yeah. yeah. In other Six. regions? 11.7. Yeah. yeah. But it's just, it sucks. And I think it, it, it especially sucks for jungle because the, Jungle meta is fairly different on the on the new patch, and, and all the champions are nerfed on live. So practice is worse, but practice is worse for everyone. So it's an equal disadvantage. Okay, and our final question is going to go to Nick Ray. Hi. So uh, this is a question uh, for Bjergsen. Now I know you uh, commented on your improvement as a coach over the split, but this is uh, the first time that you're kind of dealing with in a leadership position as a coach, losing and being knocked out of playoffs. So how did you kind of rally the team together? And was that difficult for you? Uh, do you think that there's something you could have done better? Or uh, During the series? I'm sorry, after the loss. Oh, um. I think there's only so much you can say after a loss. I mean, I've had many crushing defeats in my career. I've lost multiple finals. I've lost at international tournaments many times. And I don't think it really mattered what my coach said in that moment. Uh, of course, I want to show that I'm here for, for all my guys and I'm here to support them. But uh, I don't think there's any magic words that I'm going to cook up today to make everyone feel better. Um, the harsh reality is just that it sucks. Losing sucks. and the thing that's going to make everyone feel better is if we come in and summer split and we start crushing. All right, TSM, thank you so much for taking the time after the match to interview with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again in summer split. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.